We really have to be showing more cultural empathy. When you don't connect with them the way that they find comfortable, they feel like dismissed, they feel alienated, they then don't open up and tell you in a timely manner what's needed for patient care. It's being aware of where that person's culture comes from, what they what the main things are about that culture. The Nursing Council has a really lovely diagram which talks about the therapeutic relationship and they talk about it as a zone of helpfulness. And when you're in the zone, you're in a much better relationship with patients and you can recognise and almost anticipate what they're going to need. If you can't communicate effectively you know, across cultures, then you're not going to get the buy-in or, or the effectiveness that you need for you know, getting them better again. And the patient responds to you differently because they understand that you're really genuinely interested. ECAL is a training program that teaches practitioners to be culturally competent for a more diverse Auckland. Our population in Waita Matter is very different to other districts. So we have a less Māori and Pacific, but we have a lot more of the other diverse communities. Why this course is good is because it actually teaches people to actually assess the situation and how to deliver messages and then how to do that in, across a culture. We offer flexible learning options via our digital learning platforms. You can read a lot of stuff about seeing the videos that show you how that relationship can change and how one person doesn't do it right, what to avoid, versus how to do it better. Because then you sort of see how you might do it. Universally, it's more effective to use reflective learning, what they've just learned in practice. And this is what we call pedagogical design. About 5,000 of our white and matter primary and secondary Care, have engaged in our learning tool. And the nurses love it. They really enjoy doing them. They learn a lot and then they start applying it with their colleagues as well as the patients. Those who have been to the course, they are more understanding. You can see the difference in the way you are. You're saying to the patient, you matter. I'm here because you're here. The nurses come in and greet me in my language. Because you understand their culture. They ask me if I need an interpreter. They can foster hope for the patient. Do you want your family support here? They can have a laugh with the patient. They eliminate all our fear. That edge around patient experience, which we, we didn't have before. There's so much more work to be done to improve awareness and educate people in the area of cross-cultural engagement.